guys, in this video, I am continuing to show you how to take your lace cane that you made out of polymer clay and apply it to beads to make yourselves beads for a bracelet. So you should have your lace cane and all the scraps that you have for making that cane. I am going to work with you guys to make beads now. This bigger bracelet, it took me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 beads to make a bead, a bracelet that would fit me well. It's even a little big. If you want to use smaller beads, you're going to need more like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I'd probably make 15 to be safe. So I need 15 beads. Let's start with making a base for my beads. I need to pick a size, a size that I like. So I'm gonna grab some of my scrap here, just take some of it, put it in my palm, roll it in my palm, or I can roll it on the table. It's like making a snowball. And do I like that size of bead? It's kind of fun. It's more dainty. I like small and I did big already. So I think I will make a smaller one. So these are my smaller beads. Now I want them to all be the same size. So I need to make 15 that are roughly the same size. One, two, that one is a little bit bigger. Maybe I lose some of that clay. three. So I have three here. So you would do 15. I just don't have time to do 15 because I'm trying to make a video for you guys. So once you have all 15, you would take your cane and you are going to very thinly slice pieces off your cane. I don't know if you guys can see how thin that is, but it's very, very like paper thin. So the reason I'm slicing it that thin is because I'm going to apply it to the outside of my ball here. So I am placing it on and kind of squishing it down onto the outside of my ball. And I need to take a couple more slices. It might take two slices, it might take three slices. But this is why you wanna do the slices really thin so that way you can have as many as you need. Applying some more slice there. You're looking around, seeing where you have holes. I'm gonna apply this slice here. And I need one more slice. So I need four slices just to cover this bead. That's why I'm cutting them nice and thin, so I have plenty of clay. Okay, so I've covered this bead up and it's not very round anymore. So now I go back re kind of shape it, roll it around in my hand, roll it around on the table. Be gentle, trying not to smudge my design too much until I have a bead that is completely covered in my design. Okay. If you were doing a different kind of cane, say a leaf cane or a flower cane, you would pick to make beads out of a base color. So I would do a base color and then I would take my cane, slice my leaf and place a couple leaves all around this bead. So two or three leaves to cover the bead. So that's if you're doing a different type of cane, that's how you would apply it to your beads. Okay, so once you have your beads made, you have all 15, you then need to take your pin tool and you need to take your pin tool and you need to stab through the center as best as you can, find the center of your bead and go through the bead one way and then go back 
through the other side the opposite way so that you can make a hole in that bead all the way through. All right, and you're trying to keep it as round and bead-like as possible. So you would go through, make all 15 of your beads covered. So you'd make the base first, make your base of your bead. Then you cover it with your thin slices. Then once you've had 15 covered in the thin sliced of the cane, you would stab it with your pin tool to make a hole to go through. Then, pretend with me that I have all of my beads. So then now I've got like all 15 of my beads. What do I need to do next? That will be in the next video.